Welcome back. This is the touchline and pleased to have Dismas Otuke, sports journalist, colleague, right, on Sports Desk here at Kenya Broadcasting Corporation. Really a great. Thank you so much, Dismas, for creating time and agreeing to grasp the touchline. Ever been here before? Never. This is my first time. <laughs> great one. I'm great also. Yes. Yeah. And we just, you know, you really admire your coverage of athletics, right? And last, um, the last on Friday and, sa and Saturday, when Kenya was picking a team, you're the man who are giving, <laughs> who are giving out all the right information that people needed to know of what was going on the, in the field, yes. Of course, called it deep end. <laughs> <laughs> you really did so well uh, that you earned a slot here, you know. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> yes, and let's talk about the 35-member team. What are some of the highlights in that particular team? We saw really good times being set on the final day, which was the, you know, like, m m the finals, you know. And we did see, you know, uh, some startling performances from Makina Faith, Kipiegon, Right, Fernando Manyala, as well as Emmanuel Wanyonyi. But what was the highlight for you? Uh, what impressed me is uh, mm -hmm. the performance of uh, the young athletes mm -hmm. who are transiting from the under 20, mm -hmm. now going to the senior. Mm -hmm. uh, we saw like uh, most of the senior athletes who uh, many expected that they will do well, mm -hmm. disappointed. Mm -hmm. The likes of Ferguson Chariot, mm -hmm. a silver medalist from the last Olympics in Tokyo. Yes. But he ended up not uh, booking a ticket to Paris this yes. year. Uh -huh. We also saw the defending champion in that 800 meters who is Emmanuel Coril. Yes. Uh, he, he flopped uh, during the semis. Yeah. And then uh, on top of that, we find that uh, we have two athletes who are now uh, under 20, still under 20 as we speak, mm -hmm. uh, who is uh, Faith Charotich mm -hmm. in steeple chairs, who won the steeple chairs mm -hmm. uh, ahead of Beatrice Chepkoich, the world record holder. Yes. And also the other young man, Manuel Wanyonyi, mm -hmm. who, who set uh, the second fastest time in 800 meters. So these are the athletes who have uh, gone through the under 20. Now yes. they are transiting to uh, senior stages, uh -huh. but uh -huh. they are doing wonders. Uh -huh. And we, we are so much glad that at least now uh, it is not that uh, every time we have uh, the common names and yeah. the usual suspects yeah. every time we are naming the team, but we are having now the young lads, uh, young girls who are giving uh, these senior athletes now a run for their money. Yeah, yes. What, what do you think has made the um, young ones, you know, transition so well and be consistent in their performance to a level where they are now carrying the nation's hopes at the Olympics? Uh, most of these young athletes, I think, uh, they, they've trained so, uh, for a long time with mm -hmm. uh, these senior athletes. Mm -hmm. So uh, tactically, they, they, are got, they are getting it right mm -hmm. uh, at very early stages mm -hmm. uh, because we find that uh, like also the, the idea like we find uh, senior or legendary athletes uh -huh. who retired uh -huh. are now uh, part of the yes, training yes, team for these that. athletes. Yes. Yeah? Yes. How, how important is that? We saw with the 3,000 meter steeplechase and really one of the uh, rarest people to find. Uh, that was the four-time world champion. Ezekiel Kimbo. Ezekiel Kimbo, uh -huh. yes, he was there with Akina Serem and, 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 and the rest. It is very inspiring. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think uh, yesterday we, we, uh, there was a press at uh, AK. We were trying to ask the AK officials mm -hmm. about mm -hmm. uh, that. They're saying like it is very intentional that going forward, mm -hmm. they are going to incorporate these legends into the uh, manage, not uh, per se like coaching, but mm -hmm. uh, part of the yes, coaching around team them, yeah. around them. Mm -hmm. like, like as we speak, uh, 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 former steeple chaser Richard Matelong mm -hmm, is uh, mm -hmm. in uh, Douala Cameroon with uh, the steeple chase team. Mm -hmm. And then they are saying like they are planning like to take also Ezekiel Kemboi maybe with the steeple chase Olympic team. Uh -huh. So I think, uh, and going f uh, backward, you find that Milka Chemos has uh, the world champion in 2013 yes. in Moscow. Uh -huh. uh, she's been uh, around uh, the management <coughs> yeah, team, mentoring, uh, them, mentoring yeah. the, mm -hmm. the team. Mm -hmm. Janet Jepkosge, mm -hmm. she's one of, uh, she's actually the, uh, one of the main coaches and mentor for mm -hmm. Manuel Wanyonyi. Mm -hmm. So you find that uh, mm -hmm. that one along plays a big role in terms of mentoring these young mm -hmm. girls and boys. Mm -hmm. And also, uh, it also gives them uh, more oomph and also energizes them like uh, we, yeah, we have they, nothing they can, to lose, we right? have to go for it, we can. Yes, yeah. and what's the threat that now we all, you know, planning on how to conquer the 3,000 meter steeplechase, the rest that Kenya has dominated in previous Olympics, but Mambo Amekwa Magumu, see Looking at it like uh, uh, the good thing, uh, we can speak for now about steeplechase men yes. uh, as we head to mm -hmm. the Olympics. Mm -hmm. Actually, the athletics mm -hmm. championship will mm -hmm. be held from 1st to 11th August. Mm -hmm. But the championship, the Olympics itself, starts on 26th of uh, next month. Yes. But looking at it, the good thing is that uh, 
our main competitor mm -hmm. uh, who did Zonta as in uh, last Olympics, Sofian, yeah. uh, Sofian El Bakali from yes, Morocco, yes. has been out of form in this, uh, the, the whole of this, this season. season yeah. Yeah. But uh -huh. we also have uh, the La Mecha Grima from Ethiopia yeah, is, yeah. is also on form. Uh -huh. So uh, I think uh, the, the team that we selected is a good team, uh -huh. but we also need a, a strategy in terms of uh, ensuring we, we now yes. gain the yeah. title. And, and you watch the you watch the trials, right? And maybe you've been following on uh, Serem. Who do you think now we should be the, past, uh, the rabbit? Who should play the rabbit? and who should go for it? Uh, looking at the, the 3,000 meters steeplechase team that we had, uh, uh, I think uh, Kandia, uh, uh -huh. Kandia can uh, play a bit of, uh, I think Serem can play of uh, more of chasing uh -huh. than uh -huh. Kandia because of experience and also age is a bit senior than uh, Serem. Uh -huh. Then uh, Kandia can uh, easily win that uh, gold. But mm -hmm. uh, looking at Serem, mm -hmm. uh, stage fright the first time for, uh, at Olympics, mm -hmm. I don't think if he has that, what it takes uh, beating the, the legs of uh, La Mecha and uh -huh. also we love also other Sofian, athletes. Right? Yeah, and Sofian and will be there. Yeah. And maybe, and just that on that point is maybe the big reason why we have Kimboy around them to tell them they should never fear, lose fear, and step on to that track and dance on it like he used to do. Uh, having won it, of course, twice at yeah. the Olympics. Yeah. Yes, so all the same, but also, and uh, the 800 meters, uh, you know, 800 meters men's race, which has been, Kenya has been really successful at it from 2008. The medal has never left. And also, since Wilson Kiprugut Chumo, you know, that was Kenya's first ever medal at sure, the Olympics, sure, sure in the 800 yeah. meters, right? Of course, yeah. We, we are destined to retain the title this year? 800 meters, uh, men, looking at uh, what we have, mm -hmm. uh, I don't think at, at the moment, if mm -hmm. we have NR32 can beat Emmanuel Wanyonyi, mm -hmm. that, uh, that, that's a guarantee. Because mm -hmm. you saw even last year in Budapest, uh, he lost to Arop uh, just because I think it was Marginal, the, the, yes, yeah, yes. I think it is lack of that uh, confidence and also experience. Uh -huh. But now uh -huh. I think he has come of age, and uh -huh. then he, I remember the last Olympics he finished uh, he finished uh, in fourth place. Uh -huh. So I think it is he has now come of age uh -huh. now to take the world and then uh, bring home that uh, gold in 800 meters. And also, uh -huh. like the form that he has been in this year uh -huh. uh, tells a lot in uh -huh. that uh, you saw like uh, what, in fact, the time he posted, uh -huh. uh, yeah. that uh, second first time after the world record uh, held by Rudisha. Right? Yes, uh -huh. uh, fastest time. So, uh, looking at him, mm -hmm. he's the man to beat and uh, he's the man that, one of the men that you are sure uh, will bring gold home uh -huh. uh, come the Olympics. Yes, indeed. And of course, that medal prospect think strong, you know, favorites include Emmanuel Anyoni, as you've said, and also in the marathon, right, where Kenya is defending both titles. Of course. Yes. And of course, uh, uh, the, the, you know, Eliud Kiptoge leading the men's charge. Of course. Yeah. And one, another thing that I, I've liked this time, tactically, I think even Athletics Kenya is getting it right. Uh -huh. uh, you, uh, like uh, during yesterday's presser, now mm -hmm. they're changing the mode of training. Mm -hmm. Uh, because it used to be they, they stay in a, a residential training camp for mm -hmm. a month, mm -hmm. then they depart, mm -hmm. depending on your event. Mm -hmm. But now they've changed, they say like uh, the sprinters, that's mm -hmm. starting from uh, the 100 meters, who is Wanyonyi mm -hmm. so far. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Zabulon Yekwamu in mm -hmm. 400 meters, mm -hmm. 400 meters adults, we mm -hmm. have uh, the other guy, Weissman Were, mm -hmm. and then going on up to, uh, actually actual up to 800 meters, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, they will be training in, uh, in Nairobi. Uh -huh. They'll be best at Kasarani, uh -huh. starting to uh, reporting tomorrow on uh -huh. camp. Uh -huh. uh, then uh, the other, the rest who are now from uh, uh, 1,500 distance, meters yes. uh -huh. going to 10,000 meters, yes. they'll be training uh, at Eldoret, in, yes, yes. So, so, yeah, uh -huh. yeah, uh -huh. which is owned by the legendary himself, uh, Kipchoge, Kipchoge Kino. Kino. Right. So uh, mm -hmm. looking at that, uh, it gives uh, these athletes, uh, like they, they have uh, what we can say. Specialized training. Yes, of uh -huh. course. Uh -huh. They have more ample time to train. Mm -hmm. They are more, of the, because most of them even, they come from the North Rift part or, mm -hmm. or South Rift, which is closer to Eldred. Mm -hmm. So they will have, even if, even if you have an issue to fix, mm -hmm. you can rush home, you fix it, mm -hmm. then you come back to, to training camp. And also that's now a high altitude training camp, mm -hmm. which is better than uh, putting them in camp in Nairobi yeah. as it is, is yeah. needed to be. Uh, suitable weather for the middle distance and sprinters in Nairobi, right? We've seen uh, the Ronga Athletic Club sure. uh, producing uh, and world beaters under yep. Oma, yep. Uh, namesake Bernard mm. Oma, you know, getting <laughs> all the medals and we expect that this, uh, this time around as well. Maybe before we just put a close on the Team Kenya part, right? Uh, Olympic team. Let's talk about Faith Kipegon and her uh, double feats that she'll be aiming for at the Olympics. And she also had impressive time at the trials. She did well, mm -hmm. uh, and also it was uh, her first race uh, that we've seen her running this year because we expected that she was to run maybe uh, in one or two uh, of the Diamond Leagues mm -hmm. like Doha, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. but we never saw her. We expected mm -hmm. her at the Pre-14 Classic mm -hmm. in USA. Mm -hmm. She never 
showed up. So mm -hmm. uh, it was surprising that we saw her mm -hmm. and then she was uh, informed like mm -hmm. she's been doing all throughout. Mm -hmm. uh, going by your question that uh, if she has what it takes also to double, mm -hmm. to get double gold the way she did uh, last year in Budapest, yes. she has what it takes. Mm -hmm. Faith is one of the athletes, uh, I think she has mastered so well mm -hmm. the tactics mm -hmm. used by mostly our major opponents, usually Sifan Hassan yes. and Ethiopians. Yeah, Ethiopians. Of course, yes. Sifan is still an Ethiopian. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Running for Holland. Yeah, of course, yeah. yeah. So looking at it, like uh, she has that good finishing kick mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. that is what matters uh, for both races, 5,000 and also uh, the 1,500 meters. Mm -hmm. But for 1,500 meters, mm -hmm. it is a specialization, but now mm -hmm. for 5,000, mm -hmm. it is a new area that she's trying, but I'm sure uh, she has what it takes. So looking at it like uh, uh, even the, the way she's been training and when we were speaking with her, she, she said like she's more focused and she has no pressure. Mm -hmm. uh, she's just focusing on Olympics. That's why she's not uh, been so much into Diamond Leagues this mm -hmm. season. So mm -hmm. we do expect that uh, come to Paris Olympics in, uh, from uh, early August, mm -hmm. Uh, Faith has what it takes to get uh, double gold for should Kenya. You, should you expect um, a go, uh, record from her, a world record from her at the Olympics? Is it so easy for... for the, I suspect, I guess for mm -hmm. 1,500 meters, mm -hmm. it is very mm -hmm. possible. Uh -huh. But for 5,000, still a tall order. Because uh -huh. looking at it like... Uh, the one she broke, it was broken again. Yeah. So uh, looking at it, uh, for world record in 5,000, uh -huh. I don't think so. But for 1,500 meters, which is her area, uh -huh. I suspect so much. She's, she has what it takes to break that or floor uh, the world record at the moment. Yes, and let's come back to still on athletics, right? But let's talk about the Kenyan team in Douala, uh, the 23rd edition of the Africa Athletics Championships. And uh, how did we begin the medal hunt last night? Uh, Actually, yesterday we had uh, 5,000 5, meters, meters wim yes. women. Yes. But, but the challenge we're also having uh, with the... Yeah, the from the Central of Africa athlete, yeah. Republic, yeah. Actually, if, if you look uh, in history, mm -hmm. you'll find that uh, we have uh, many challenges when it comes to African or continental championships. Mm -hmm. Even getting results, yeah. even officiating. Yeah, we yeah. have so many issues. Yeah, whenever championships are in north or you know Central, in, in, yeah, yeah, in the, the French-speaking countries, sure. it's a big problem. But of course, we'll keep you posted on... Team Kenya, 60 athletes, uh, all in Douala, gunning to retain the and title. And you, that they it is also uh, mm -hmm. one of the last two chances for mm -hmm. many athletes to qualify for Olympics. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Like I think uh, Sarah, Mora, Sarah, Mora. Sarah Mora is there. She uh -huh. finished uh, last week uh, in Nairobi. She was third. Mm -hmm. Missed then, out on just yes, seconds, just 0 seconds. 0.09. Yes. Uh -huh. So I think she'll be trying to amend that mm -hmm. and maybe see if she can make to Team Kenya to join her cousin, uh, Mary Mora. Well, she's cousin to meters, the world Mora, champion. World champion, Mary Mora. Yeah. Uh -huh. So we do expect that. And also, Diego is there, mm -hmm. still trying to get uh, qualification time in he Germany. Bad day in <laughs> office last time, yeah? It happens. It happens. <laughs> There's a good day and also bad days. Yeah. And the good thing about Diego, this is not the last chance for him mm -hmm. to qualify for Olympics. Uh, Besides this, he still have another one last in event. In Finland, right? In Finland, uh -huh. where, she, where he'll try his luck if to if he can get back to uh -huh. the Olympic the, team. Uh -huh. But uh, the, the way I see it, like uh, chances for Diego making it to the Olympics uh -huh. are very slender. Are very, slender. very slender. Maybe he could win the African title, which he has won four times. Don't you think that would be a good hunting ground for him to get the Olympic qualification time in a tournament that he's won four times? It depends. Uh, I've not uh, looked at the start list for mm -hmm. javelin mm -hmm. uh, because if he has good uh, javelers like the ones from Egypt, Egypt yes. I think they'll propel him. Uh -huh. if, if maybe our opponent, uh, maybe the, like the likes of Egypt and Algeria, if they brought uh, a weaker athlete, uh -huh. then chances of him uh, making that, uh, uh, that uh, g getting that the qualification ticket, mark, uh, yes, the qualification be. mark will be a tall order. It will be a tall yeah. order because uh, uh, even in Nairobi, I think he was slightly. Uh, after 70 meters, around 70, 72. Yeah. So I think off, it's off the mark, way off the mark. Way off. Yeah. yeah. And indeed, and also uh, among other athletes who are also searching for the Olympic tickets, Marco Tieno chasing 10.00. <laughs> uh, still at all out another <laughs> one. Uh, looking at the African Championship, uh, not a good ground for him to get that ticket. Mm -hmm. If it was maybe mm -hmm. a European Championship mm -hmm. or uh, mm -hmm. somewhere, another event like Asia, somewhere else, mm -hmm. I think he could have uh, gotten that ticket. But uh, for African Championship mm -hmm. in 100 meters, mm -hmm. very uh, because I'm sure uh, even South Africa will not send uh, their the best athletes. Yeah, they're all focusing uh, on Olympics. Yeah, even yeah. Botswana. So uh -huh. we expect that it is, uh, even Kenya, uh -huh. the athletes who are sent to Cameroon, most of them are second stream, yeah, not sure, the first stream. Sure. So we don't, don't expect if, if, if it will be that good for our athletes to get uh, qualifying tickets, yeah, yeah, uh, uh, times. Yes, indeed. And also the 4x400 four mixed relay team, they've been in search of this particular um, uh, a place in the Olympics, being top 15, right? That's the requirement. Yeah, that's the how requirement. Yeah, how far are they? So far, they mm -hmm. are there, but then uh, you see, 
uh, it is subject to uh, if uh, closest opening to are Italy, mm -hmm. if they don't better their time, uh -huh. but they still have uh, the, the qualification time or window closes on 30th of this month. Uh -huh. So if Italy will post better result uh, than our result, then we are out. We are out. Yeah. And the times that they did post at the um, national task, which brought them closer to the dream, that does not count. It's all about the ranking now. The ranking is based on that time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So mm -hmm. according to the, rank, the, the ranking time, mm -hmm. their time falls on uh, number 15. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you find it is just uh, merely uh, a few seconds uh, ahead of Italy, uh -huh. who are now 16. So if Italy like can better their time, uh -huh. of which they also have uh, the potential, uh -huh. then chance, our chances of uh, qualifying are slender. Yes. Yeah. Very slim. yeah. Uh, and Kenyans, of course, uh, 400 meters flat will have a, a qualm, right? At the for the first time. Yeah, for the first time, yes. Though we've been, uh, Kenya has been at the hurdles, the late Kibet. Yes. Uh, but talk about a qualm and wise man weary. What kind of energy do you think um, they'll bring to, you know, to, to Team Kenya and the expectations that we have on them? I like their determination. Uh -huh. They are so determined. Mm -hmm. If you look at them when they are running on uh -huh. the track, uh -huh. uh, they, they, it is like they are, they are running uh, out of uh, their hearts. Uh -huh. Like uh, they, they have not, nothing else uh, left out when uh -huh. they are running. Uh -huh. So looking at Ekwam, uh, Ekwam has been doing well. Uh -huh. uh, we've seen him uh, during the weekend meets uh, uh -huh. at Nyayo uh -huh. and also uh, Lindsay Complex. Uh -huh. He has been winning almost uh, all his races uh -huh. in 400 uh -huh. meters flat. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, looking at uh, Wise Man wearing uh, 400, 400 meters handles, uh -huh. uh -huh. he has also been doing well. Uh -huh. I think he's in, in, in one of his best forms. Mm -hmm. So uh, if they go with that form, I'm sure, uh, but we of, of course also as Kenyans, mm -hmm. let's not give them so much pressure. Yes. Because what I expect from Zablon and also Weissman Were uh -huh. is at least to be in the final. That's, uh -huh. that's, that's uh -huh. enough. Do you think, so we, in other words, saying we can't stand no chance against Vahom? <laughs> in the, the medal bracket? <laughs> yes, the medal bracket. No, no, the, but, uh, we'll be stretching them too much. Yes, and also maybe uh, I, did, we, I did interact with the... Um, you know, the man who did get at the Olympic semifinals, that's in 88, David Kitur, uh -huh. over the same distance. Yes, yes. And he was really, um, you know, optimistic that Kenya can get, can, can get it, you know. What, what, what do you think? Are his sentiments shared by um. the, the athletics, you know, the insiders like you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm on the side of <laughs> Uh, looking at uh, what you said about Kitur, uh -huh. uh, yes, it is a, a way of motivating these young men. Uh -huh. But uh, looking at it also, mm -hmm. we are also putting mm -hmm. them under immense pressure. Mm -hmm. uh, and they still have a lot of time mm -hmm. ahead of them. So mm -hmm. uh, for me, Zablon and uh, also Were, mm -hmm. uh, if we, uh, like they are good, but uh -huh. maybe uh, yeah. from next year we can uh -huh. now uh -huh. uh, start now putting them, them uh, under pressure that now we need that medal. But for uh -huh. these Olympics, uh -huh. uh, to be in the final, that will be mm -hmm. not a mean achievement. Mm, yes, indeed. What will be your prediction for Team Kenya at the Olympics? Uh, mm. You see us re, uh, bring back the 3,000 meter steeplechase, retaining the marathon uh, goals? Uh, marathon, yes. uh, there's high, po high potential. Uh -huh. That's almost a sure bet uh -huh. for marathon. For both men and uh, women. Looking at Peris Jepchirikche uh -huh. and also Eliud Kipchoge who are defending uh -huh. and also behind them, uh -huh. we also have uh, one of the best athletes uh -huh. uh, like Helen Obiri, uh -huh. the Boston Marathon champion, and yes. also the other side we, we have uh, Bernard uh -huh. uh, and also uh, the guy from Ukambani. Yes. Uh, uh -huh. So looking at it like the athlete that we have behind uh, actually Yego and Jepchirikche, uh -huh. Uh, not only that uh, we are going to retain, but uh, there is a high possibility of getting one, two, three in both races. Yes. But also, and again, uh, such other races like uh, 1,500 meters uh, for women, mm -hmm. 800 meters for men. Men. Those are also al almost sure bet races. Yes. And also Mary Mora, we are sure that she'll, be, she'll bring that Olympic title back home in the over the distance you know get it from a thing move in the meantime thank you so much dismas much appreciated for making your time and gracing the touchline of course we've been talking about athletics and what really potents for team kenya in the forthcoming olympic games beginning under month that's on 26th of july in paris and kenya just picking that 35 man squad we really talked about who is who in that particular uh, squad and also what ha is happening in Douala. We'll keep you posted on what's happening at the Africa Championship. Kenya gunning to retain their overall title that they won in Mauritius uh, two years ago. Thank you, Dismas. And keep watching the touch and because we'll be back uh, with the uh, Gomahia fans. Also expect to have uh, some heads up on what's happening ahead of the 29th edition of Lewa Marathon. But keep it touchline. Also, the fans on the Tiras where you can resolve about the Euro. So a lot to look forward to. Keep watching the touchline.